specifically for record day sales but man tell me that did not sound like old school weezer from like the blue album that was a bash i love high low but man that was like old school weezer from the blue album for sure like i know i think i think of like uh uh of uh um um what's called uh uh oh my god not holiday a good good choice now but not that not that i was thinking of and uh um Oh my God! It's like yeah, one of the first. It's one of the first songs of the album. It was uh, um, sir, um, sweater? no, not the sweater song. Uh, Surfing USA, is or not Surfing USA, but uh, um, uh, oh my God! I can't wait. No, you bring your car to work. I'll bring my board. And when you're out of fuel, I'm still afloat. All along the undertow, and strengthening gets old. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, it's not Iron Man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mike, come on. Help me out here, man. <laughs> I can't remember track names. Uh, um, There's some, one called something, The World. Something Surfing. Something. Um, Beach Boys. No, no, not surf, Beach Boys. Surf, 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 wax, surf. My name is Jonas. Sur surf Wax surf USA. Surf Wax USA. Thank you, Mike. No, my yes. name is Jonas. Good choice, Sam. That was partially that one, too. So my name is Jonas and Surf Wax USA. Thank the both of you. I went backwards with surfing. Yeah. Th <laughs> thank Christ you guys spoke up because it drove me nuts. So, yeah. Between a mix of Surf Wax uh, USA and, and uh, my name is Jonas. So thank you, man. Thank you, Mike Five. Man, great tune. Love High Low. Go ahead. I absolutely love these guys. Yeah, I, I, I'm absolutely with you. There's a big Weezer vibe in there, which I think is really cool. That's obviously a great album, the Blue album, but they did loads of cool stuff as well. But yeah, yeah that's that's awesome. Um, so that was a was that a record store day release? Yes, did you say? yes, it was. And so was the song we played by them the week before. Yeah, cool. I, I'm a big fan of record store day. Like, I, I don't necessarily need an excuse to go right. and buy records, but I, I do like the fact there is one. <laughs> do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> kind of cool but i went out today i went to record fair which you know it it was billed as a record fair so i i took william kate was right. working i took william and i assumed you know it was a fair maybe there'd be a bounty cast or something but actually we just wandered around a village hall scouting through records <laughs> <laughs> but i managed to buy a heart album i can't remember which one now off the top of my head but I, i'm a big, nice. big fan of heart so i uh, got one of theirs and i got one by a band called tokyo black which is this rare uh kind of uh, I think it's only four tracks. It's like a live thing. I'd never really heard of the band or anything, and I was just like, ah, that looks kind of cool. I haven't actually listened to it yet, so I'll let you know next week how it sounds. <laughs> right uh, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that. It's kind of like, you know, vinyl's always been awesome in terms of sound quality and stuff, and it's great to to have a day dedicated to going and buying great vinyls. <laughs> or, oh, for sure. 
Why not, eh? I was going to say, doesn't Record Store Day also sell cassettes? I believe they cut sell cassettes, even though like no one has anything yes. to play a cassette on. But they yeah. still do it, just for the uh, thing. Nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia factor. But I remember <laughs> back in the 90s, here in, in London, Ontario, Canada. Oh, here we London, go. So, <laughs> um, <Centennial> Tanya <laughs> Hall would have, uh, the, maybe every six months, they would have this like record and CD show in the basement. And you go down, you could buy like... All sorts of like bootleg cassettes. You can buy all sorts of vinyl, uh, singles, laminates, posters, shirts. Like it was, it was incredible. I'm assuming Record Store Day is much like that. I haven't been to Record Store Day. Essentially the same, yeah. But it was. I, I just remember being like the greatest thing that ever happened. We gotta go. We all gotta go and see what's around there. How much money do I have, and what can I buy? And, just uh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then you gotta go, and you gotta pick what you want. <laughs> It's kind of like yeah, the, the the sort of official version of that. Like there's a there's a Led Zeppelin thing out for right. Stone, I saw that yeah, which is like a yellow vinyl with a yep. couple of um, I can't what the tracks are, but the tracks everyone knows I think, but they're sort of you know bootleg versions of them. But they're they're also I say bootleg, they're official if you know what I mean. So it's kind of, it's oh, yeah. kind of got that vibe going on. But yeah, no, it's kind of cool, man. And you're right, there are a lot of cassettes. We actually put a poll out. Uh, a while ago now, you know, because I keep hearing about cassettes and how cassettes are coming back. And right. blah, blah. I was like, okay, if we print cassettes of our album as one in five, will anyone buy it? And you know what? Everyone went for CDs. And I was expecting everyone to go for downloads or streaming. Everyone yeah, went yeah. for CDs. Hardly anyone went for tapes. I was like, okay, we'll keep doing the CDs and we'll keep doing the streaming and downloads. Yeah. But maybe yeah, we'll the physical, the physical so thing gets big again. Yeah. But. <laughs> uh, speaking, speaking of that sort of thing, um, it, it's nice because since M is roughly like I will call it my my size sort of thing, she can wear the rock gears a lot. So she's been rocking your one the one in the five shirt a lot, and uh, she's been flip flopping between that uh, Colt forty eight and Body Jar. Nice, good, good, good band choices. Even if I do say so myself, there. Well, it's, because it's, it's, it's nice to know that your slender, feminine body shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I I do try hard to keep it up, so. <laughs> You just you just keep walking those dogs, mate. And you keep <laughs> that's true. That's all he needs, right? Like he, <laughs> just, he gets his cardio in all, every day. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I am a sexy beast. <laughs> no one is denying that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> except for Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes she to think so. Eh? <laughs> Nah, she she knows it. She's just seen it all before by now. Yeah. So. I, I I I'm just humoring him. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> and it's only with him for the money. <laughs> I, I think she's a little more. I think she's a little more, more than I. To be honest with you, so <laughs> it, 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 either either way, things are looking up. So. <laughs> I mean, the money is excellent. Being a, a new music Saturday podcast co-host. Oh no, no, it's it's a good, it's a good time, man. Like no, it's it's a, it's a good match. Like we get along just swimmingly. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> So we have. You talking about me and you? Life beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two more songs to get to tonight. Um, the next one up is a band. Uh, this we talked about because uh, John uh, from this band contacted me, and I think he said Will's cont- contacted you. So this bond is this bond. This band is called. I honestly uh, thought you were trying to do an accent there. No, no, it was a really bad one for that. So this band is called Contra Telic, and the song is called Eyes of the Animal. Dig this.
right on. Contra Telic with Eyes of the Animal. I love that that end part to the man. What a great trail off and great kind of kind of build up to the end. But what a great tune in general. I love the vocals. Love the rockiness to it. Good to a pop song, man. Loved it. Mike? Hello. Sorry, that was me on me that time. Right, um, right, right, right. <laughs> No, no. They're, they're brilliant. They're a great band. So um, people may know them as Alternate Function, which was the the band, the, the name of the band um, previously. And we played one or two tracks from their uh, yeah. first EP yeah. as well, yeah. Function um, on this show. Uh, John Robbins is the manager who um, uh, I've met a few times at Rift Hack Music and Network. John's the one that contacted me via Facebook. Yeah, there you go. So I met him a few times at Rift Tack Music Networking events. Um, Joe Robinson, who's the singer guitarist, played at the Sussex Music Festival last year, but just as a kind of solo act because the rest of the band weren't available. They were all up in different parts of the country at uni and stuff like that. Um, but I think they're excellent. I think that the more they do, they go from kind of strength to strength. And uh, John and Joe and, and, and Willis, the drummer, who was the uh, person that messaged me, have been kind of um, talking about this EP and, and, and what they're about to release for a while now and they've taken their time over it and it sounds really good it's it's really matured um, they've obviously kind of taken their time to find their sound along with the new name um, just out of interest on the new name for anyone that's um, not sure about it because I, I remember talking to John about you know <laughs> different band names for this so Contra is obviously opposite or you know the reverse of um, and Telic is uh it's kind of expressing purpose, I suppose. So it's kind of a cool brand name. It's the opposite of expressing purpose, which I kind of like, uh, which is cool. But yeah, I think they're wicked. They're, they're the kind of definition of of a really good indie band. Do you know what I mean? They take influence from all kinds of things, from uh, I don't know, Biffy Clyro um, to oh, I don't know. To, there's a little bit of Muse in there in the bass, and you know, stuff like that. So uh, Twin Atlantic as well, I think, is a little bit in there. But yeah, they're a great band. I really, really enjoy their stuff. I think they're awesome. Mike, uh, 